good morning the hydroponic growers or the enthusiastic hydroponic growers this is dr praveen singh the kheti varwana as i mentioned in my previous videos also the nutrient management or a fertilizer recipe is the hard for any hydroponic growing system and we all are aware that lettuce is the most widely grown and tested crop in hydroponics or in dwc growing system so today i'm going to discuss with you that what are the deficiency symptoms and role of different essential plant nutrient and i'm taking uh, lettuce crop as the medium for for giving you an idea that what is the deficiency symptom of different essential plant nutrient so by following that you may get really a healthy crop and even i should say that these will help you in designing your recipe while your test crop because in commercial growing system there is a no scope of deficiency symptoms so the grower need to be a very efficiently efficient to manage the crop nutrition part so this video will help all of you in designing your fertilizer recipe and while designing your field trial will indicate the deficiency symptoms and by that you can understand that what is the nutrient you need to add or you need to reduce in your def means fertilizer recipe so let's understand what are the rules of a different essential nutrients and what is the deficiency symptom you should scout for while designing your recipe or even in your commercial growing area so let's understand fertilizer management is one of the most important parameter or component of any hydroponic crop production so it is very important to understand how to optimize your dose of a fertilizer. So this chart is clearly giving uh, the best part is the optimum level of a fertilizer is going to give you the highest productivity. And if your, your fertilizer level or a nutrient level is lower than uh, optimum level, then the plant will struggle with a hidden hunger. And finally, in acute uh, deficiency or acute shortage of a particular nutrient it is going to show the deficiency symptoms so let's understand that what are the deficiency symptoms of a different crop nutrients so if we see there are 16 nutrients which is essential for the plant growth and nitrogen is one of them and a nitrogen's role is to uh, promote a vegetative growth and it promote a succulency and also attract a lot of paste as this nutrient is highly mobile inside the plant so its deficiency symptom always appear on the lower leaf and what is the symptom it is uniform chlorosis if chlorosis there are two types of a chlorosis is a uniform chlorosis where veins as well as the intervenal part become a chlorotic so to understand lower leaf chlorosis so next fertilizer or a crop nutrient is a phosphorus which is basically responsible for a root development as well as it is a part of ADP and ATP process. So it provides energy, it's improved the quality of a produce and it helps in a formation of nodules also. This nutrient is also highly mobile inside the plant. So its a symptoms appear always on the lower side of the leaf and the symptoms are small, erect and dark green leaf and in acute deficiency it also produces a greenish brown or a purplish color so let's move to another uh, essential nutrients that is a potassium potassium is always known for a uh, means um, providing resistance against the disease as well as for the water stress it is increase the efficiency of a plant performance in drought or adverse condition so 
in potassium deficiency we can get the dead spots and this also starts on a lower leaf so dead spot with margin and at the lower leaf is potassium deficiency so calcium is another new essential nutrient which is the most important in 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 case of a lettuce production it's increased stiffness and uh, of something like the, the help in a texture formation and it is a part of also the cell wall formation this also helps in a producing better seeds so this calcium deficiency always appear on the apex on the new new leaf and the symptoms you can see it's a necrosis on the top or the new or a bud of 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 that plant so this is most crucial for lettuce and most of the people get these type of deficiency symptom in their crop magnesium is another essential plant nutrient which is the component of chlorophyll and it helps in taking phosphorus and uptake of other nutrients so if we see this always shows on lower leaf and the chlorosis is intravenal and in that also leaf easily detached from 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 uh, the the plant and in acute deficiency it produce dead spots so magnesium is also on the lower leaf now next is a sulfur sulfur is an essential plant nutrient which shows the deficiency symptoms on new leaf this helps in stimulation root growth and formation of a nodule as well as this helps in a uh, growth of vegetative uh, growth in plants in lettuce the deficiency symptoms appear always on new leaf it is not just calcium is always on the uh, bud the apical buds but this in, on uh, new leaf and sulfur also produce chlorosis but this chlorosis is little bit different than uh, nitrogen okay so the next is coming the iron which is the most important part of chlorophyll synthesis and synthesis of a protein so iron is always shows a intervenal chlorosis not only iron manganese also shows a intervenal chlorosis but the difference between uh, iron deficiency and uh, manganese deficiency is secondary veins in case of a iron deficiency secondary as well as the primary veins also become yellowish so this is intervenal chlorosis in iron secondary and primary both become a chlorotic but magnesium it is only the primary become chlorotic okay the boron it's a very essential nutrient for for a plant growth and uptake of a calcium efficiently by any plants so uh, this also the deficiency of a calcium also appear on the apical part of of crop growth so this always shows the deficiency because calcium and boron these are the two nutrient essential nutrient which is immobile in plant and always shows deficiency on the buds or apical part of a crop so after discussing all these these uh, deficiency symptoms it is also required to understand the basics or the base for different essential plant requirement for lettuce if you see different essential nutrients requirement uh, for the uh, lettuce is different so the basics it is and, and it is not going to be same for every grower because the hydroponic projects require a calibration at every site so this is only a basis a basic uh, requirement of a different plant nutrients essential nutrients one can start this as a, a foundation and they need to develop their own fertilizer recipe as per their microclimate so i hope i managed to uh, satisfy or share my knowledge on the nutrient deficiency symptom of different essential plant nutrient in lettuce the most commonly grown crop in hydroponic i will love to respond on the queries of of anyone who want to know more I'll request 
if you feel my video uh, knowledge sharing and it is worth for 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 uh, uh, sparing your time you may subscribe my channel because i am going to upload more similar kind of a videos so hope i manage to enhance your knowledge on deficiency symptom of lettuce crop and you will be able to use this information for designing your own fertilizer recipe so i am signing off the doctor Praveen Singh, the Kheti Badiwala is signing off. Thank you.